Hello everyone, my name is Nathan, and these are a few of my personal opinions. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Journal Entries here on Nate's Escapades, where I take you through my journeys and my escapades working on board cruise ships as a video producer. This week we are going to one of the largest islands in Alaska. This week we are heading to Kodiak Island. Kodiak Island has around 13,000 people, and it's also one of the largest islands of the United States. Kodiak Island is usually pretty rainy, just like the rest of Alaska, and just like the rest of Alaska, it is primarily rainforest. It can be very temperate, so the weather can be pretty warm or fairly cold. Whenever I was visiting Kodiak Island, there was a lot of rain. Kodiak Island is primarily made up of rainforest as well as mountains. So there was quite a wide variety of wildlife on Kodiak Island. Kodiak Island is known for its Kodiak brown bear and it's also known for the whales populations that live off of the coast of Kodiak Island. I ended up going on Captain Day's scenic cruise in which we saw plenty of stuff in the harbor, plenty of animals, and quite a few different opportunities that were extremely unique. Captain Dave is a very unique individual in that he is pretty local. He is almost as local as you can get with Kodiak Island. It states why being the first. We're 250 miles long, 150 miles wide. On this side, which is the east side of the island, it's 12 feet. On the west side of the island, it's 24 feet. Captain Dave has a fishing boat that he ended up renaming the Fish and Ships and he takes you out either on scenic cruising or on your fishing adventures. He's more than qualified to talk about either, and he's more than qualified to give you a fantastic, memorable time. We ended up seeing quite a few different things. We saw some sea lions, we saw some whales, and at the end of the day, you got to experience the harbor and learn the history of Kodiak, Alaska. In addition, I have also included Captain Dave's website, and I've also included the tour in which I made so please make sure to check out those links in the description box below. Now as you can see from the merch on my head, this is actually a hat that I got from Captain Dave. I am very happy about it. It was uh, a wonderful experience. And he... Uh, it's something that I won't forget and something that I still treasure to this day. As far as Kodiak, Alaska goes everyone, that's about it. There's only the uh, bear tours, there's a few whale watch uh, expeditions you could go on. Uh, you can learn about a little bit of history with Kodiak Island as well. Uh, there is some native cultural experiences, but there's only so many tours that are available on such a small island. And I decided to do Captain Dave's tour because it just seemed like the best thing to combine at the time. And overall, I had a pretty good experience. This is the last port that I will be covering in Alaska. We will talk about Alaska one more time next week, and then we're finally going to be exiting Alaska and moving on to new places. I'm very excited to share these adventures here with you on here on YouTube. Make sure to check out my other social media links that are always in the description box below. And as always, everyone, the difference between an ordeal and adventure is your attitude. Until next time, peace out. Signing out.